Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter blog and today I'm here with another P.O. Box opening video. Actually, so this was the third time for me opening the P.O. Box but because there is so much mail in there now I decided to split it up into two videos. Uh, I think for now my plan is that this one will be online on a Monday and then the second part that's just my cat playing in the background part two will be online either Tuesday or Wednesday because editing is a lot of work so uh, you know <laughs> give me a few days and I will hopefully upload part two uh, very soon as well Um, okay, so uh, I know that I usually talk way too much, <laughs> so I will go straight to the footage that I shot yesterday. After that, we're picking out a tea and then we are going to open uh, the meal, <laughs> part one of the meal that I got. Hello, news. What are we gonna do today? Okay, since news didn't reply, I will uh, <laughs> do the introduction myself. Um, today my mom is coming over and we're going to the P.O. box together which is kind of great because I can go by car instead of by bike um, and uh, I got an email I, I have been getting emails you know from the P.O. box company with notifications about mail that is in there but it's kind of unreliable I don't know it's making me stressed because I, I was happy with the email notifications because it was supposed to make me stress less but okay I'm talking a bit more about that in a video I did and I'm actually thinking of making a vlog because I have a vlog channel as well I never used it I have to keep my cat from trying to eat a plastic bag <laughs> okay I'm um, sorry I also have a vlog channel that I never used it's called Vivian's vlogs I will mention it down below if you want to follow that and I know about some of the mail in there I know that obviously the package is going to be from Sahar and I know I'm getting one mail from uh, Louisette because she messaged me because I ordered she's from Little Lefty Lou if you don't know that Etsy shop go check it out she's really amazing and I ordered I actually ordered some cards from her Etsy shop and then she said haha that's the second time I'm sending mail your way so uh, she kind of sp uh, told me that there's something in my PR box which I'm really excited about and then all the rest I do not know so I think there should be five meals in there and two packages um, let's go check it out I'm filming differently this time with the vlog and the voiceover because my mom was there and it's kind of awkward to talk to a camera but basically this is the moment where I went nuts because I thought from the email notifications there would be five meals in there and then I opened the box and I found all of this which is, oh, it, that's like nine more mails than I expected. There's 14 and I'm just showing a quick overview. It's really, really, really insane. It's so cool. Okay, so as you can see, I again have two cameras. I just have to figure out how this works. Also the little camera that I got like second hand from my dad, uh, the battery is not, very suitable for filming so probably what I will do is I will just focus on this little camera mainly and then uh, sometimes in between I will either show my face or I will just use that camera to do like close-ups of the meal so okay we are going to pick out a tea um, these are all the pen pal swap or subscriber meal tea that I got uh, today I want to go for this is always the hardest part of the videos. So today, uh, okay, I'm actually going to try mint tea because um, my tea preferences are actually like usually herbal tea. Whoa, that's strong. Mm, I don't know if I like this. My tea preferences are usually like herbal tea. Um, and I have said in a lot of videos that I do not like fruit tea but I also usually do not really like mint tea but that's just a thought I have in my head and maybe I do actually like mint tea so I thought you know what I'm just gonna try I don't know where I got this one from 
don't actually remember. But uh, okay, I'm gonna try mint tea and I will let you know whether or not I actually dislike it or whether I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, complaining about nothing in particular. Okay, so as you could just see, I was completely blown away when I opened the mailbox. That was all real. I mean, it was very weird for me to film because my mom was there. Um, so I didn't really, really feel, but I expected five pieces of mail because I had received five meals and they also do like a counter in those meals. Like they will say total amount of meal received 11 or something, 12, but all of a sudden it sort of jumped, like it jumped from eight to 14. So I thought they made a mistake. I, I thought that for I I thought that for every piece of mail I would receive an email and I think that there's different staff members working there so sometimes I receive two emails like okay you received one piece of mail and you received another piece of mail so sometimes I get two emails on one day but because I only received five I expected there to be five email five pieces of mail which is already so much for me and then as I walked to the PO box I saw that there it was like it was filled up to the top i could already see that through the cracks and i started realizing that maybe the tally was actually right and i received 14 pieces of meal which is even now it's been like 24 hours since i picked it up but i still cannot believe that i received 24 pieces of mail and it's so exciting and i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who sent me mail because well i guess by now you will realize how much it means to me and i can feel my eyes watering again i feel like i'm crying in these videos way too often um okay but just thank you that was so unexpected and so cool like seeing so much mail is like i always i always get super excited when i open the mailbox also like in my home because when i open the mailbox and i see something is in there it's just that feel of joy you know that spark of joy like oh i'm getting to open mail and then imagine that happiness times 14 which is insane and my mom was a little bit like what's going on <laughs> okay so I have divided all of the meal into two piles um, because it's too much to actually open in one go. One, two, three, four, five. So I decided to split it into two piles of um, four, uh, two piles of seven meals. I'm just checking on my computer um, because I have been having. Um, focusing issues with my camera. I don't know why. I do not know why, but um, a lot of my films have been blurry, which makes me very sad because that's obviously not the quality content I wanna put out. Um, but because of that, I decided to revive my old computer and I now have my camera, that the big camera connected to my computer so that I can see on the screen. Um, that my camera is currently, I think it's focused right. I don't know for sure. So hopefully this will be better than the last one. Okay, so this is actually the first pile of mail that I am going to open. We have one from the Czech Republic, one from Belgium, one from Finland, which is really, really cool. One from the Netherlands. This is actually the only piece of mail from the Netherlands. And uh, that's kind of funny because I am from the Netherlands and I can see in my statistics, you know, how, how many people from each country watch my videos. And the United States is number one, but the Netherlands is number two. So I kind of expected that if people were going to send me mail, they would be from my own country. Not complaining, no, that's not, but I just, it's just funny to me how the countries are so different. So then this one again is from the United States. Uh, where was I? This one also from the United States. So I, I was actually thinking about that yesterday and I thought maybe that also says something about how, um, how do you say that? Like how giving we are as Dutchies? I don't know if that's a positive, I don't think that's a positive thing, but I think it says a lot about 
the people from the United States because there's a lot of meal there. And then this one is also from the Netherlands. So I lied before, but this is actually a swap I did with Sahar. So um, this is not subscriber mail, it's a swap, but I'm also going to open it because look how bulky this is. It's like, <laughs> and it's very, very heavy. So I'm really excited to open this. I know that there's goodies in here for me. I think it's cat themed because look at it. Oh, this is so cute. You have all the little cat paws. Can I zoom in now that I can actually see my camera? I can actually do these kind of things. We are zooming in. This is weird. Like I said, I'm still figuring this out, right? So look at this pretty package. It has like little cat paws. And actually yesterday I uploaded pictures to my Instagram just to say like, oh, you guys, thank you so much mail. And then I got people messaging me. Oh, this is funny. It's actually not on here, but people messaged me like, oh, there are so many cat themed envelopes. And I think that they're actually all in the, in the pile I'm doing uh, a little bit later, but look at that. That's so exciting. Um, all the little cats. Okay. So you guys know I'm crazy cat lady, basically. Um, so I'm just going to pick out these one by one. I need to zoom out again because, uh, I would actually forget to zoom out. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going, well, I'm just going to pick them randomly. I will need to put them somewhere behind me. No, oh, no, I cannot put it behind me because then Luz cannot sit on her chair anymore. Okay. I'm just going to start with this one. That's now on top. Um, and the reason why I'm doing two videos is because obviously I, well, I wanna, I really want to um, give every piece of meal the attention that they deserve. So yes, completely honest. I already opened this because, um, well, I will talk about, I focus. Okay. So I think that I talk too much in my videos because I know that some people just want to see my meal. And that's why I also decided, obviously I'm still going to talk. I mean, I am still me, but I also decided to finally start with my vlog channel. I, I will link it down below if you want to follow that, where I will talk a little bit more about my personal life, but I am still want to talk about my personal life here as well. So what I, why I opened some meal already, this is not the only one, <laughs> um, but why I opened some meal already is because yesterday I had to go to the doctor for my thyroid appointment. Like they're trying to figure out why I'm always tired. And this morning, really early in the morning, I had to uh, go for another blood test. Oh, I hate needles. I don't know why, but I hate the feeling and seeing and hearing them take blood out of my arm. I don't know why, but they had to take four veils of blood and oh, I was so scared. I don't know. I am a grown woman, but I just don't like them sticking needles into my body. This has to do with some childhood memories, but okay. Childhood memories of me being in a hospital. Um, so yesterday and today we're actually kind of real anxious days like oh my god what's going on with my health why am i always so tired so i just decided to distract myself with some meal so i already opened this one but i did uh, what i did like i opened it and then the first thing i saw was a letter to you so all i did was read the letter i didn't actually look at the other things in here so this little meal is from sam i do have someone uh I do have a Sam from the United States commenting on my videos, but I'm not, I don't actually think that this is the same Sam because they are a different age. But um, this is a little letter from Sam. She didn't include her return address, but it does say that if I do want to reply to her, I can just email her. So Sam, 14 years old, really love how you designed that letter. And I'm now going to take a look at the rest of the mail. <laughs> Thank you so much for your sweet letter. Um, I really enjoyed getting to know you a little bit better. Oh, and the first thing I noticed is this little, is this like a Polaroid, a little picture of your cats. I hope it's focusing. Uh, I'm really scared now about my camera not focusing. Okay, so uh, first thing I noticed is this picture of your cats and that's so cute. We have Oscar and Daisy. I love these little personal touches. And then yay, we have some tea and this sounds so good. I, like I, I just said, I love herbal tea. Oh, and it says one of my favorite teas. Well, I'm definitely gonna try. And I love chai tea. I mean, I know chai means tea, but I love chai. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this out. 
and then we have another little uh, paper baggie that says for you I love how you're like hand lettering that and then it says made with love and I can open it oh it already says what is in here I'm just gonna empty it out Ooh, I see some flowers oh I think you made this we have a little um, pretty little watercolor flower and okay it says DIY washi so I think this is like you made some washi type which is really cool you have to tell me how you did that so this is like handmade washi type with little hearts and we have this one with a little print so cute what a good idea now I want to make my own washi and this one with some sort of thought bubbles or clouds I hope you guys can see and then yay we have a sparkly shaker so cool it has like little glitters in here and on the back it says make a wish and on the front it says be the best you this is so cute and I love how flat it is so I think I can actually put it in a journal and I have mentioned this a dozen times but I do want to keep all of your pretty little touches or at least I want to keep like memorabilia of all of the meals in a journal so this is perfect thank you so much Sam for your thoughtful meal Sam, um, if you're watching this feel free to email me already so that I can I keep forgetting to look at the camera so that I can um, add your address to this meal and so hopefully you will be uh, getting a reply from me so next up we have this one and I have to admit it actually I didn't do this on purpose like I, I just put everything in a stack but I have to admit that I also opened this one and I also opened the next one so I'm just going to switch it up a little bit um, so that we also get some unopened meal but this one I also opened because I already I had a strong feeling about who this was from. Like I said in the beginning, I um, knew that there would be meal from Louisetta. Uh, she's a very, very lovely lady who also has an Etsy shop, Little Lefty Lou. I strongly advise you to go check it out because it's really, really awesome. That. And then she said that she would love to exchange plant themed meal with me. So, and I agreed. So this is actually uh, I'm not going to put this on the stack of mail that I will randomly pick from. I'm just going to put this on my to reply stack because I just, we sort of agreed on that and I think it's really fun to make a plant themed mail. I will make a video of that probably also. Uh, I learned that in the Netherlands it's quite common to leave out the street name when you have a PO box. Like usually when you have a PO box, you can just write down the PO box number and not the street name. But for me, that is not true because I was going to work. I was going to do like an exchange with a web shop. Very exciting. I will tell you more about that later. But um, basically she wanted to send me stationary which is really cool and all I had to do in exchange is write a blog like show everything in a blog post which is super easy super fun um, and she tried to send me something but she addressed it to uh, Vivian PO box da, 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 da. so she didn't write down Konijnenberg which is the street name and obviously it got sent back to her so if you're a Dutch and you want to send me mail please don't forget to include the street name Okay, and just some information in between. Also recognized that this could be from a Louisetta because this is the paper from one of the paper gang boxes. I also got that paper gang box. I love that she used that. And um, by the way, I will link the paper gang unboxing from this one down below if you want to check it out. But I knew that she also got that particular paper gang box. So, uh, you know, <laughs> I knew that this would be her. So obviously I already opened it, uh, but I am going to take you through it because it's such a cute little meal. Let me zoom in a little bit. I hope that is okay. Okay, so this is um, such a cute little meal. It's like plant and cat themed, which is totally me. It has pastel colors, which I absolutely love. Um, and it's an envelope flip book but i will just start with this page for me this is the front i don't know this could also be the front but i will talk about that later it has these incredibly cute little die cuts of envelopes which i absolutely love it says hello and open me and a cat and i don't know it just screams me and then um the next thing this is actually quite funny because i have been 
editing a video where I did the exact same thing. So this is a card and she put it on there with these photo corners. I hope you can see that, but these are like little photo corners, which means that I can actually, see, I can actually take out the card and reuse it, which is super clever. And funnily enough, I actually did that for a video as well. I filmed that video nearly three months ago, but it's still not online. So she couldn't have known, but I just thought that was funny. And then obviously this page is so cute. What I love most is this little die cut that says, make today your bitch, <laughs> which is, <laughs> I don't know, just think that is funny. And I have a feeling these and this is maybe the same company or the same die cuts. So if you're watching this, Louisa, I really want to know where you got these die cuts because I absolutely love them. And then also this cat sticker. I don't know, it just makes me very happy. And then, well, this is like an envelope flip book I love that. I've only made small ones, but I really like this big one, the idea of a big one. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. So first we have these stickers that say plant. They're sparkly and they're puffy and I love it. And lady, plant lady. So that's like the theme of the mail. In here is um, like an envelope pocket. I don't know if she used like, if she made her own envelopes, I think. So I love this paper. Uh, so we have another kitty. I don't know. I can say so much about this, but I have so much mail to show that maybe I should restrict myself because I'm going to talk too much. But in here is her letter to me, which is really, really cute. And then it says this beautiful quote, if speaking kindly to plants makes them grow, I imagine what happens if you speak kindly to yourself. And I just think that that is so beautiful. Then we have this pocket with a lot of tea, which I also really love. And it says in her letter that she picked some tea um like feel good tea because the weather is getting worse and that obviously influences sensitive people like myself so we have zen again infusion i love clipper teas and we have these two yogi teas one for throat comfort and one breathe deep i have to say that i could totally use that right now because i'm going too quickly i will just immediately put them in the tea tin i don't think this is going to fit and obviously I will put the rest of the teas in there as well that I am receiving today. I need to drink more tea, it's getting too full. <laughs> um, so that's really pretty. And then in here we have a pocket filled with goodies. Um, just take everything out. First of all, this is so cute. Like we have a little vellum bag, which I'm going to reuse. And then in there are paper clips. And look how beautiful is this. It's a giant envelope paperclip and I absolutely love it. And I feel like this would be perfect to use for happy meal, but I also don't wanna let go of it. <laughs> and then in here also um, a bunch of these tiny, I've never seen, I've, I've had them in the meal from uh, Natalia, but other than that, I've never seen uh, paperclips that tiny, super cute. So a bunch of tiny paper clips and this big one. I absolutely love it. And my cat is scratching the couch. Noose. And then there's a bunch more in here. Um, first off, these cactus stickers. So cute. So me as well. And then um, we have this. I really, if someone knows what, no. If someone, oh sorry, that's just my cat. My other camera is like shutting off, I think. Or, yeah, the battery dying, okay. We'll have to charge that in between. But okay, Um. so if someone knows this brand, like we have these two, they're so cute. They're Project Life cards. If someone can tell me where they are from, I would love to know. Um, but maybe don't tell me because I'm going to buy them. <laughs> but this is so cute. Look at these Project Life cards with love inspire breathe and explore and i i do not do project life but i do collect these cards because i love using them for happy meal uh, even though it might actually use these for in my journal because they're so pretty and then there's another project life card but this is from a different brand we have these beautiful stamped flowers then this cute little card with the cacti on it and this Sparkly. I think I might use this as an address label. How cute is that? It has like all of the succulents or I could just write a little message on there. 
and I love how sparkly it is. And then, yay, this is actually the plant that she traded with me. I have the, the miniature version of the Monstera. So that would be Monstera Monkey Mask, for those of you who know. She gave me these super cute little um, note papers that I absolutely love. And I'm so... Ah, okay, so both of my batteries died. Um, but... What was I saying? I was saying that I was torn between cutting these out and actually using them as note papers. <laughs> but luckily she gave me multiple so I can do both. So this was this beautiful mail from Louisette. Thank you again. And um, because we sort of agreed on doing a swap, I'm definitely going to reply to this. <sighs> and I cannot wait to use all of the beautiful goodies you sent me. So putting that aside, I'm going to try the tea now. It's already cold. No, I'm really sorry. I just don't like mint tea. It feels a little bit like you're drinking water when you just brushed your teeth. Mm. It tastes very healthy and that is good, but I, I am sorry, I just don't like mint tea. I don't want to offend anyone, but it's just not me. Okay, next up is this meal. And this, I actually covered up the address here. And this is again from the Czech Republic. And funnily enough, it is actually from the same girl who sent me my first ever P.O. Box meal. And even funnier, there's another meal from her in the second pile of meal that I'm also going to film today. So that is so sweet. Uh, Katarina, thank you so much for sending me so much meal. Um, I feel very happy and honored and uh, if if you're watching this I hope that my mail to you already arrived because I did reply to you I hope you arrived the flip book I sent to you and uh, yeah I'm going to open this now but first I want to draw your attention let me see if I can fix that first I would like to draw your attention to these beautiful stamps um, I especially, I already said it with your flip book, right, in the first PO Books meal, but I love these. I love how this one has like a little gold foil and I really hope that I can somehow uh, manage to restore them because they're like stuck under plastic, under tape, but I will definitely try. The, they are really, really pretty. Um, so I'm just gonna open this now. I'm really curious to see what you made this time you guys If this is the first PO box video you're watching I recommend you go watch my first PO box opening as well because Katarina was the first Ever to send mail to my PO box or at least not the first ever but the first to send mail in my name and Oh look at that. It's again a little or actually a big flip book, which is kind of cool Oh, look at that. It has like so many things coming out. I don't even know where to start. Oh, your letter. Oh, this is a drawing. Wow. Very pretty. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's my picture. <laughs> oh my God, this is my picture. I recognize it because um, <laughs> that's really cool. I can't believe you made this. So this is actually my picture because I recognize, um, I think this was to celebrate that my boyfriend got a job or I finished or I started therapy I don't even remember but we went out for dinner and we had these glasses of champagne and I remember this restaurant is called the red apple and it was really really good wow you are so good at this so this is me we have my little green uh, sweater and a necklace that's so talented wow um, I don't even know where to start oh wow what is this Oh, you made me more stamps. Yay, this is noose. This is noose, right? <gasps> she made, like, last time... Oh, I hope you can see because I'm, I zoomed in. Of course, I will zoom out. Yeah. So last time, she made a stamp of a um, an envelope. And this time, she made a stamp of noose. I cannot wait to try this. I can totally recognize <laughs> her shape. Although upside down, I don't know. It looks really cool. Thank you so much. And then this beautiful one with uh, leaves. And I this is something that I am going to use so often. I will have to find a piece of wood to mount them on, but they are really, really pretty. Thank you so much. It's so fun to see what you make each time. 
So that was in this little pocket and I'm definitely going to try to save this as well, especially because this pretty little stamp image. I think you printed this, but that's really cute. And then we have these Moomins. I've never actually watched, I think Moomin is like a cartoon or something. I've never actually watched it, but I do know it. And this is like a puffy sticker and it's so cute. And then we have these pretty little uh, sticky notes. I love this little, um, what's it called? Watering can with succulents in it. And some more buttons, which I absolutely love. We have this, what is this? I don't know, I don't wanna... Well, this is again a little booty bag, I think. Oh, this, oh, this is just like the poster uh, body. So I can just take it off. And in here are some... Uh, what is this? Ooh! Oh, yeah, this is so beautiful. This is another of your stamps absolutely love that and i do usually and these are printed stamps which is such a good idea i can't believe i never thought of that and i've actually been looking at um mushroom themed items for fall so this is perfect thank you again i'm really this is like i've only opened three meals and i'm already blown away but um, I, I think I tell you guys way too often that I actually collect stamps. Where did I put the last one? That I actually collect stamps for um, our old neighbor. Um, he is my grandmother's cousin. So he's like 90 something. But he's a very enthusiastic stamp collector. And he's so happy with me. Like I have provided him with some of the most, some of the most special stamps because of my pen pal and swap bot hobby so he's very happy with me he actually brought me grapes yesterday like fresh grapes from his garden which is kind of cool uh, because i have helped him with so many stamps but i sometimes i'm a little bit torn between giving him the stamps for his collection or keeping them myself for decorating because the ones you just sent me i think that i'm going to keep them because they're just too pretty um and i've already given him so much and then we have this little tassel here uh, with a clock, which is such a cool idea. I love this little fun element. And then, um, yeah, a pretty decorated page. Oh, it's again an envelope. I love that. Oh, we have coffee cups here. I am a, a big espresso fan. Actually, this Friday, we're going to the... What is in here? I'm so curious. I have to take it easy. Um, well, this Friday, we're going to the cat... Like, we're going to have a, a coffee course again at the cat cafe i have had them before but it's always good to brush up my knowledge so i will again have one of those courses where you learn to make cappuccinos and you know just espresso coffees so this really suits me actually i i, I mean if you guys if i look at what you guys sent me you obviously know me well it's all cat and botanical themed but there's a lot more things that make me excited like coffee uh, I think this is the matcha tea, but it's stuck. I don't want to rip this apart because I'm gonna have to open this so that I can restore this cute cappuccino. But actually, would that be something you guys are, are interested in? Like a, a coffee? Oh no. <gasps> I cut into the bag. It's definitely the matcha, but I cut into the bag. Vivian. Poof. Okay. Stupid, stupid me. Look, I accidentally cut into the bag. And the masha is coming out. I, I, I will carefully show you. Um, this is masha tea. I can show you this one. This is in my tea tin. I'm going to carefully put this aside because I don't want to waste any of that precious masha. Masha is basically green tea powder, which is really healthy. You can use it for baking. It's actually really good if you know how to prepare it uh, well, <laughs> because some people think it's really bitter, but if you making it the right way is really really good so wow thank you i'm definitely going to enjoy a kappa and then there's another i cannot believe you katarina you're really spoiling me this pretty pocket which is also really my style like i hope this camera is picking up on it or i can show it on this camera it doesn't really matter this is so my style what's going on I don't know. I cannot. My camera, my connection to the computer is now lost. I don't know why, but 
I was saying before my camera started acting all weird that this bag is also so me. Look at these beautiful flowers. I'm definitely uh, going to do something with that. We have a <laughs> uh, one of those naked cats. I don't know how you call them in English. I think this is a sticker. Oh, a little fluffy cat. So cute. And a bunch of photos. That's so exciting. In trouble but there's like a bunch of little chicks in there and flowers and sparkles and it's really really adorable I'm just carefully going to put it back in the bag until I can fix it and then um, some cutouts so a teapot uh, oh these are actually stickers and some birds how pretty oh more twine oh this is pretty man I mean it's not twine it's ribbon this is so pretty. This is also what she used around the flip book. And some sticky notes and some washi. Oh, this is such a cute washi. So cute. Look, these are all like tiny washi samples. Oh, there are little bears. And I, I really love how you manage to pick out so many pretty things. I just hope that you're not sending your entire stash to me because I would feel bad. But I, I feel super spoiled. And then we have another pretty collage that I think you made with the um, napkins. But you have to tell me how you did that. And then another pretty collage in the back. I'm just going to see. I, there's a note here. Oh, she sent me. A, it's not actually not a note. It's a meal tag. So she sent me questions. Share a recipe, uh, what is my favorite color combo, when is my birthday? My birthday is actually February ah, February 12th. So I can always use more recipes. And then we have a note, I think. Whoa. Or is this your note? Mm. It's a little note. And it says that she was watching my second live stream when she was crafting this um, that I wouldn't know that it was her because she never comments which is totally fine I know there's a lot of silent watchers I mean I would love to get to know you all but I, I totally get um, that it can be a little bit overwhelming and then she sent me the answers to the mail to her own uh, mail tag and there's a coin on the back oh, this is very pretty it's quite heavy actually for one coin and then we have this pretty patterned paper as well so wow and again this one i already opened as you can see i looked at the letter yesterday because i'm just i'm just too curious i mean i got 14 mails i just want to know <laughs> what i'm just too curious and this one is actually from Sydney. i hope i pronounced that right right from finland um there's no address on here so i think that that means that you do not want me to reply which is totally fine a little letter and some goodies from me and that i have not yet looked at because that i do have that much oh look i'm all <laughs> covered in glitter i do have that much um how do you say that? I can stop myself. First, there's this pretty flower with actually a bread in it. That's so smart. So she used a brown bread as a center of a flower. Really pretty. Some cat, I don't know how to call this, but some cat, um, how do you call this? I don't know. Some cat, some cats, some cat figures. I don't know how to call this, but that's so cute. We have two little kitties. I really hope you can see this properly. I cannot check anymore because of my computer, but oh, that's so cute. We have some tea. Mm -hmm. I do know this brand because I also have a pen pal from Finland. By the way, how cool are these stamps? I think Finland really has the best stamps. That's amazing. I do know this brand, but they're, they're like a lot of different flavors. I don't know what is this flavor. Flavored rooibos, and actually rooibos is uh, one of my favorite teas because it's herbal and it's warming and it's comforting and it's sweet and I love that. So thank you for this really cute flavor. So I cannot wait to try that. I will put it in a tin right away. Um, and yeah, and then we have a, a couple of cute sticky notes. I love this one with the bird. I think it's the same as your address label. That's so cute. And then 
I don't know, a lot of cute sticky notes. I'm talking too much and some stickers held together by a paper clip. Oh, a cat which says thank you. I will use that for some subscriber mail. Back, thank you so much for this thoughtful little meal. I love the color of the envelope and I'm definitely going to share those stamps with my neighbor, although I do want to keep them myself. I might keep them for a little while and then give them to him. <laughs> I've already spoken so much. I really hope that it's not boring yet. Next up is this one. So I covered up the address, but this one is actually from Ariana. I think it says, I think it says her last name first and then her first name. But this is actually, I think from Ariana. I really hope I say that right. And I first want to say I absolutely love this paper. I hope it's not too dark because I've been awake for so long. Okay. 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 I've been awake for so long because in the morning. Uh, I had to get my blood tested again, like early in the morning and on an empty stomach. So three of my favorite things, blood test, early morning, no food. Um, so I've been up for really long and I thought I wanted to start filming this, but uh, it's raining all day and it's super dark. So I thought I'd wait, but it didn't get better. So now I'm just starting because how exciting is all of this? So next up is this one from Belgium. I recognize the stamps also which has Belgium on the stamps so it's not really that hard. There's some sort of it looks a little bit like scales you know like the sea theme scales and it has a gold golden sparkle on it and I love the colors and it's just nah I love it and I love this mm, sea star how do you call that is this a sea star we call it a sea star sea urchin I don't know I, I really love this sticker it's so cool I really I, I'm absolutely in love with this so First, that was the envelope. I, I already get so excited by things like stickers and paper and just carefully gonna open this. And I'm so curious to see what is inside. Ooh, it's a flip book. Oh, wow, you used a lot of that paper. Wow, this is so pretty. I think it's like, Sea themed. Wow. I also made a sea themed something a little while ago, but this is so beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna have to check the camera to see if it's focused properly because you want to see this. <laughs> it's, it's like, I don't know. I've never had a flip book that flips. Oh my god, this is so good. Okay, look at all the sparkle and the like. This is again the same type. Wait, I'm wondering, this is paper you bought, right? It's not like you put on the foil yourself, or if you did, please tell me how, because that's amazing. To Vivian. Uh, actually, ah, doesn't matter. Um, wow, this is so, like, almost professional. We have this page with the mermaids. It says, hello, beautiful. Wow, wow, look how... Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen something this big and cool and oh my god. I hope you can, guys can see all of this. I don't know where to start. Look at this little tag. It's like a, a how do you call this stuff again? Well, it's a fabric tag and it says have a wonderful have a wonderful <laughs> and all of this is like gold and I love these stickers and it says, you make me happy, everything is better with you. More of the puffy stickers. And I love these, like, frames. Oh my god, I love everything. And this cute little, oh wait, this is like, ooh. I really don't know where to start, there's so much going on. Oh yes, oh, she shared some of that pretty paper with me. There's a quote on here, or I, I think. It says, a seashell is never empty, it is filled with many things. It holds... It holds the sound of crashing waves and songs that mermaids sing. Wow, that's really cute. So now I have to choose whether I put it in like this or like that. Or maybe I just have to like make it flip. This pretty, oh my god, I love it. And then on the back here we have a washi type sample. Wow, this is like professional. I cannot believe. Oh my god. Oh, look how sparkly. We have a, a cute washi type sample with these little waves and all of these pretty colors. And I love this idea of like a tuck. 
I don't know, how do you call that? How do you call that? You guys, help me out. I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. This is beautiful. <laughs> I feel like I'm either going to jump out of my skin from excitedness or cry. Or both. And then I'm going to look at this. Oh, my hair is everywhere. This, uh, well, first this one. Some more goodies. So we have this little mermaid and another um wow i don't know how you call this stuff again i know it in dutch it's like yuta i think yuta but it's like a little did you make this yourself or is this i think maybe maybe it's actually handmade wow i don't know but it's whether it's handmade or store bought that's really cool and we have a little paper of the mermaid and then we have this big envelope wow look it's like Shimmery and shiny on the inside. Oh my god. I love this envelope. And then it's, it's a postcard that says, Thank you for your part in my journey. And there's like a little snail on top of a bigger snail. This is such a pretty postcard. And then, oh, she gave me some of the puffy stickers. Yay! Like this tops my birthday by so much mm -mm. sorry to my parents and my boyfriend but this is so exciting a little crabby and i um i always forget what they're called they're called seahorses in dutch i really hope they're called seahorses in english this is so pretty i'm got definitely going to make more sea themed meal now hello and this is perfect because I got that um, sea themed paper pad, but I don't have that much else, like stickers. So I can totally use this. I'm really happy. And I love this baggie. You are. You're. You're spoiling me. And then we have this little card that says, You make my heart smile. So cute. And this is actually her letter to me, I think. Ooh, and there's also confetti in the letter. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that's so cute. It says, basically it says um, that she saw my video and she wanted to surprise me. It also says that she didn't, like she has been doing this for a few months only which is insane look how pretty all of this is and that she has a lot of fun doing it well i totally get that <laughs> and she tells me about her new cat and that's so cute it says um it's a but it's a court i don't know how to translate that but it's basically a um I'm really crying. It's basically, get what the word is. This is so bad. I'm so overwhelmed. I keep forgetting what I want to say. Basically, it's a type of cat that she tells me that she has a type of cat. And I used to have a cat like that. And she was so sweet. So I'm really happy for you. They're, they're, they're the cutest cats. They, they are so social and sweet. And ah, oh, this, I mean... Uh, I appreciate every single one of you who took the time out of your day to send me mail but when someone writes you such a kind note it just mm -hmm, I don't even know what to say thank you <laughs> that's all I can say thank you for this beautiful mail this is by far the coolest sea themed meal ever this tops my sea themed meal i will have to take a page from your book like not literally but this is some impressive stuff <laughs> i just need a moment to uh, i just i just need a second to i just i need a second to uh, Wow, I'm still blown away. Like, you guys seem to think that I, that I'm, 
Like sometimes on Instagram or something, I will get messages saying, hey Vivian, I know you probably will not read this or I know you probably will not respond. And that makes it sound as if I'm some sort of far away, unreachable person. But actually I'm not, I'm just totally normal girl from the Netherlands. So for you guys to write to me and to send me mail and to share your stories with me and to tell me that I inspire you that's just unreal and really cool and unreal and really cool and it's just I am such a normal person and this is all very cool. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna open the next meal before I cry even more Before I start crying like I did in the last video This one is from Gabby Gabriella. Sorry I was... <sighs> One of the cameras shut off again, so we have this pretty meal from Gabriella these cute little stickers botanical stickers So cute bamboo and then another monstera. I don't know if this is a coincidence or if I somehow managed to to tell you all that I love Monsteras, probably. And then a little cat stamp. Oh my god. <gasps> Gabriella. I'm immediately drawn to this bag. That's beautiful. That's really cool. I love this. I'm going to use this in combination with like Maggie Holmes. I think that would be amazing. Absolutely love it. But okay, let me carefully. Um... Look at the rest of your mail. This is trying to roll up again. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Kind, but it's very pretty. We have like these green little leaves. Yeah, this camera died. I think this is some sort of packaging and we have these leaves and we have these lavenders, which is actually my favorite. Look at these, look at these colors, I mean. That's really pretty too. Okay, okay. I will. I hope it's in the note where that is from, or else I will tell you. Hopefully, you will tell me in a comment. Ah, what a cute, what a cute little note paper, by the way. I don't want to show your letter, but it's basically um, a, uh, a a a mason jar with hearts on top. Really cute. Okay, so she told me that this was actually face mask packaging that I can use for decorating well obviously I'm going to try because look it's like it could fit an, ad an address or something so you know we will see what we do with that and um, this is she told me that this is from her local music store which is kind of cool I wish we had a local I mean I wish I don't know I, I have no reason to go to a local music store and then we have these cute little washi types and she says I hope you do not have them yet well they're all new to me And then we have these pretty tags. I also love them. Oh, she says that she got them in a thrift store. That's cute. That's a good find. And then these pretty note pipers with flowers. And these would also be perfect for addresses. I keep thinking, like every time I see something, like, oh, perfect for this, perfect for that. I'm gonna use this for that. I'm gonna use this with Maggie Holmes. I just get so excited by all of this. And then this is a little paper baggie that she made from an old newspaper. I love that idea. And I already know what's in here, but I obviously don't know what they look like. Oh, shaped paper clips. Oh, and, and wax seals. This is pretty. Oh, I, I, I immediately lose my ability to speak. But she made me some wax seals from roses. That's so pretty. I want to get, I, now I want to get a, a rose wax seal stamp. So cool. Thank you. And they're flat, so I might actually... Once I start that journal, they're going in there. Ooh, we have the I've never seen these before. We have little uh, flamingos. Look. Um, it's a little. I hope I'm doing this right. It's a little flamingo. Little circle one. So cool. Another flamingo. Thank you. And these pretty little colors. And this uh, triangle. I always. Sorry if I say um so often but i'm dutch originally so english is not my first language i always have to like quickly translate what i want to say in my head so that's so cute thank you so much gabby or gabriella i don't know which one you prefer um 
such a thoughtful little meal. I love everything and I really like that you took the time out of your day to send me some meal. This makes me very happy, but and there and before I go to the oh there's a heart, did I miss that? So cute. <laughs> Oh, I've already opened so much goodness, I don't want to... <sighs> you guys are going to turn my face into a grin like forever. It's going to stay that way because it's so cute. But before I go to the box from Sahara, I do want to say one thing and that is that I love letters. I absolutely love letters and you you guys are all sending me notes which is absolutely so much fun um because i'm a letter enthusiast and getting to read so many letters is really <laughs> making my day although many um uh, although many of you seem afraid that you're boring me because I, i've read a couple of notes that say i hope i don't didn't bore you or uh, enough about me or something or where you only talk about my channel but please feel free to tell me about yourself i absolutely love getting to know you guys i would love to know more about your lives or what you like or you know how you're doing <laughs> so please don't feel shy to tell me stuff uh, in your letters of course if you don't want to you absolutely don't have to but just know that i'm i would be totally fine <laughs> with that and i would be happy to read your letters Mm. Okay, I'm going to take a little break because I've been talking for so long. I'm going to take a little break and then I'll make myself some coffee because this is not really my thing. And then I'm finally going to open this amazing swap package. It's heavy and it's shaking and I'm going to open this package from Sahara in a second. So stay tuned. I have been so excited to write or to open this package because I did a swap with Sahara. I sent her a Mackie Holmes tag flip uh, which I'm so happy with and I hope to upload that video sometime soon as well. Maybe it's already online, I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to open this. I know that in here are just goodies, just um, because last time we did like a craft swap but and i did i did make like a, like i said a tag flip but that's just because i wanted to send her something handmade so because we didn't actually set guidelines or anything for this swap look at this she sent me such a big package and um on the back is actually uh, a note from her because she said she was not sure whether or not she included it in the box so um, or paint, I'm not entirely sure. I will zoom in again. Okay, and then these cute little, I wanna have these <laughs> little stamps. I think they are little cat paws and all of these cute cat stamps. Absolutely love it all. And I'm sorry if you hear my phone buzzing in the background, but that's actually, I have to leave it on because I'm waiting for a call from our realtor for our house hunt. So I'm sorry, I hope it's not too annoying. I usually don't have it on. Wow, Ooh, look at that. Oh, there's cat confettis here. Oh, cat shaped confetti, definitely reusing that. Wow. And it's so heavy and big and I really want to see what is in here. Oh my goodness, I can immediately See, wow, this is so much, Sarah. You're spoiling me. You're crazy. I know it could be like the first thing I'm seeing. Oh, so much. Like, at first, I saw three wax seal sticks, but there's actually two more. And the cat confetti is everywhere. Did you hand punch that? I hope not. That should have hurt. Look at this. We have a lot of. Um, sealing wax so i know this is such a pretty color and i love the golden and this bright orange i actually know that i think that the two with the stars are actually from hema because i've seen them before i think so pretty but i love these especially the blue one but they're all so pretty can't wait to make like a bright orange 
wax seal stamp now this is so you're this is already you're already spoiling me actually did include the letter but in here also this this is again a cute cat sticker like embossed so sweet you make me laugh some more vintage themed cat stickers oh that's so cute and i i'm doubting between reading the letter now or no i will read it afterwards oh man look at this cat confetti everywhere that's so adorable <laughs> i don't know i'm just going like from the top she brought me gifts from turkey oh look it's like scalloped oh man this is so exciting oh okay there's something in my eye Um, I don't want to rip the paper. Oh, oh, cat. Oh, it's a little cat, cat uh, keychain. Wow, I, I lost a word there for a second. So cute. And I'm still really sad that the I have to open the PO box with like a code. So like it's like a lock, but I'm so sad that I didn't get a key instead of a lock because then I could put this on my keys for the PO box. <laughs> and then ooh tea. I've seen you use this, I think, in on Instagram. You have rose rose hip rose hip. I don't know what is that? Tea and pomegranate. And there are these cool little sticks that I cannot wait to try. And this smells really nice. I'm trying to like take this all out without ripping the paper and we have I don't know oh Earl Grey wow oh this looks really special like in a little bag oh and she numbered them oh she numbered them so then on the on the list that was in here she also wrote down some information wow ah, I don't want to rip the paper it's so cute Ah, I really want to know what is this. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh, is it coffee? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's coffee. Oh, cool. I cannot read this, of course, but... Uh, that's Turkish coffee. So cool. I'm actually, like, if I'm really honest, I prefer coffee over tea. But I always drink tea in these videos and I mainly drink tea as well because I know that too much caffeine can give you anxiety, like it can make you panicky and I don't really need more of that. So okay, but it's like I was saying, I actually prefer coffee over tea but I drink more tea because I... Uh, because I know that too much coffee is not good for me. Look, this is like a... I don't know what you call that in, in English. Oh, it's like a, I don't know how you call that, like an onderzetter in Dutch. So this is what you would put your cup on. That's so cute. It has little cats on it. Can I, can you see that? I hope so. That's adorable. It's really good that I have the, the laptop now so that I can actually see. I love that. I love that you picked, oh, this this is actually, I know the story about this. She also wrote it on there. I just quickly scanned. I know that this is supposed to protect you from evil because I've actually been to Turkey once or twice. I don't remember. I think once with my parents many, many years ago. And then we also saw these little beads everywhere. That's so cute. I'll have to find a good use for this. Maybe put stamps in it or something cute. Because I'm not really a makeup girl, but uh, stationery, very good. Then we have some more tea. Okay, this I actually have to, oh, we have Jasmine. Okay, um, she wrote down what these teas are on the paper. So I will read that <laughs> afterwards, of course, with two more teas. And then she told me that she had some maps from Istanbul and that she uses them for journaling. You see this is just a um, this is just a what do you call it again like a public transport map 
Yes, and we have another map in English. That would be good. I've actually... Oh, look, this is pretty. Can use that to make like envelopes or something. Um, well, excuse me. <laughs> I'm. Oh, this always happens. Oh, this time it actually went all right, but normally I never know how to refold. Oh, how to refold maps and another map from Istanbul cultural map, and then this catches my eyes. It's a little little notebook with cats on it also from turkey that's so cute i have to put that in my travel journal or something oh look how cute i used to have we used to have a cat like that her name was minus and i actually named noose after her you know minus noose <laughs> so cute this is really adorable thank you so much sarah you like you've already spoiled me so much and i'm not even halfway through the box oh and this is Decor time stamps, so they're from the action new collection. Aren't they cute? A doggy sticky notes. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm trying not to read the notes too carefully because it will, I don't want to like spoil the fun. But she gave me these super cute stamps. We have a kitty and a doggy. Look, they're like smiling and happy that's adorable i love especially love the cat but obviously the dog is really cute as well and then um okay i don't even know where to start um okay this this one first ah she this was this was actually from a friend of her and she just Asked her if it was okay if she sent it to a cat lover. It's a little cat. I think it's a necklace or a bracelet. It's so funny. Little little kitty and uh, it has a little fish. So I will <clears throat> I will have to hang that at my desk or something. I don't usually wear necklaces, but I will hang that at my desk because I am definitely a cat lover. I'm still focusing on hope, sir. Focus. Eh. <clears throat> That's really cute. Phone call. I got the phone call and it was very, very important because Heise and I went to look at a house yesterday and we decided to go for it. So um, we, I expected a call from our realtor who is going to talk to the other realtor now and then hopefully they're going to accept our bid which is crazy because that would mean that we're buying a house in six months but okay um so okay that's very important and very scary and i had to do a very difficult phone call but i'm going back to opening this uh, amazing package now um <laughs> i'm a little bit out of it now but this is a face mask so many cats and fatties. Look! We have a little cat face mask. So nice. I really love face masks. I mean, I mean, yeah, you know. <laughs> okay, I don't, I'm sorry. I'm completely out of it because of the house now. And um, next up is cards. So, Srene Grene. Oh, she says she tells me about where the cards come from and then she says do you even need this information well yeah it's nice to know because obviously wow cat cards oh they're all cats oh, of course oh that's really cute okay so yeah i do like knowing where you get them from because i i'm always amazed by how much stuff you can find so we have these two like coloring cards from little kitties and then we have this one that says let's party which is absolutely adorable i'm going to use this as like a birthday card for cat lover and we have this one with little kitties again and this one that says hi there so cute really adorable i love how everything is cat themed oh my god i can't believe how much confetti you punched i don't know i hope this is not hand punched because that must have taken you forever Stamps. I hope you don't have these, otherwise you can always share. Well, uh, no, I do not have these because they're kitties. <clears throat> they're again from the action, but I actually haven't seen these, so 
I'm glad you got them for me. And they're a layered stamp, which is very cool. And oh, this such a pretty color. I've actually never used, um, how do you call this? The, I've actually never used ink from the action. So I will have to see if that works all right. Oh, that's really cute. You, look, you can make, it's really annoying that I cannot see it anymore, but you can make a little gray kitty with pink, uh, pink little uh, fur, I don't know, and some black accessories. Our black like eyes and uh, ears. And I'm so sorry. I'm My head is completely with the house right now. Like how scary is it that we might actually get a house and I might actually get a craft room. That's so exciting love this i love how this says tweet tweet because <laughs> you can also make a little birdie so adorable i'm absolutely going to use this i might actually use it with some of my own uh inks as well because i have like copper and that would be really really cool so thank you so much for that and there's even more different stickers okay uh, oh there's more stamps Oh, more kitties. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. Then we have like two little kitties with a, a bow and this one and a little birdie again. It looks a little bit like Harry Potter. Oh, that's so adorable. I don't know how, but um, actually the cat confetti is also in here. These are so cute. I can color them in. I've actually wanted to try that coloring in stamps. That's so cute. Oh, and some little... Um, Cat stickers with gold foil. Hope you can see this all right. Oh my god, there's so much iron on patches. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe how much cat stuff you found. These are adorable. Love these colors. I love mint and pink. Oh, that's adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, there's, it's still, look how much confetti. That's just insane. Oh, these are uh, stamped stickers. That's actually the stamp I also got. Now look how adorable. Look how adorable, that's beautiful. And we have these little, <sighs> wait, did I get these? I, I got these already, I think. With Eeyore, yeah, I got these from someone else as well. That's funny. So adorable. And a little Hello Kitty. Oh, more Hello Kitty. Oh. oh my God. Oh, these are really cute. We have little Hello Kitties in different outfits, different square ones. Oh, that's adorable. So cute. Thank you. You like, you spoiled me rotten. Then we have these with, oh, this is a very big sticker sheet with big cat uh, like photos. I have to use this in the cat cafe. I feel like I have to bring that to the cat cafe more. This is probably the same pack. Oh, oh my God, how much did you send me? Oh, these are little circle ones as well. Really cute. Oh, this one looks like Moose. Ah, the only thing that's different is like, she doesn't have a black chin. Oh. These are all fluffy, oh, adorable. And there's even more in here. We have some washi tape samples. I can't get over this confetti, especially because it's so many different papers as well. <clears throat> so we have this, the cute cat. This is also, I think, from Hema because they look a little bit like the patches. Mm, not really, but it's the same color. I think this might be from Hema, the bottom ones. And the top ones are cute little cats with a ball of yarn. And last but not least, I cannot believe how much you managed to stuff in here. Last but not least, we have these um, memo stickers, which are really adorable little kitties. Come out of the page like that. That's adorable. I will definitely share these with a lot of people as well as this confetti, because how fun is this? So, oh my gosh, um, that's actually the first video. I don't think I'm going to film the second one also today because it's a little bit much talking to the camera this long. Um, so I think I will film that tomorrow and hopefully we will maybe possibly have a house, which is insane. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Please subscribe to my channel, 
hit the notification bell if you want to see everything else. Um, if you want to see the second half of all of this incredible mail. I can't believe how many goodies you guys sent me. I can't believe how spoiled I got. I cannot believe that there's a second pile of mail on the floor to, for me to open still. I'm so happy and confused. And I really want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I also upload my own snail mail videos. If you're new to my channel and you don't know this yet, I cannot speak anymore, but I upload every Monday and Friday and sometimes in between as well. So. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye!